Hey everybody, this is David Homestead Hacks. It's January 9th and we're still camping. We've still been coming up here at least once a week for a couple of days and so far so good with our water not freezing up on us. We've got a breakfast going this morning. Our norm, the hash browns, bacon and eggs. And I got a video coming up here pretty soon that I told you about finishing the the rain catchment system right there. So I got part two and part three done. It's the catchment system is done. I just I need to post part two and then finish the video on part three, and then it'll be ready to go. And I'll get both those videos out. But um, it got down to 19 degrees a couple of nights ago. And this camper here has a, a polar package, it's called. So it's insulated very well. No water running into it. All the water's contained in the, in the tank inside the camper or underneath the camper. So no issues, nothing froze up. The rain catchment system, the tote that, that's just like this right here that's on the back i insert a, a small bucket heater and plugged it in just to keep it from freezing and it did wonderful it did there wasn't any ice in it at all after that night so it done very well i thought i was gonna have to drain it but i got to thinking about doing that so that worked out very well i was going to add this part on to the video about camping in the winter up here at uh camp hotland if you remember me talking about a video before about how hard it is to get a fire built in rainy conditions well the best thing a person can do is practice and that's like in our case we have uh, done this over and over and over trying to find out what would guarantee to be that would burn in situations like this? I mean, look, it's, I got my spotlight on my head where I can see good. And this right here burns fine. It's wet on the outside, but it's dry on the inside. And let me show you what we've been getting it from. It's very foggy out, rainy, wet conditions. But if you come into a, a situation where you need a dry wood, what you want to search out and look for is trees that has been down for a while, like this right here. You can see these trees right here, they dozed over while they was building our little platform up there for the camper. And these trees was pushed over about May, April, maybe April, maybe April. And they stay off the ground. And that's the big thing. See how you can see where I've been through here and used all this and all this right here will eventually be gone. I'll use all these tops, all this tree tops right here because it makes perfect fire to start with. And it doesn't matter if it's wet. This right here, it may be wet on the outside, but it's dry on the inside. And these snap off so easily, like that. They're not rotten, they're just dry, and they're dried out very well. And I just I lay them to the side, and it's amazing the, the size of limbs that can be broke off with the... With, uh, just a little tug. Well, there we go. See that just about a inch and a half limb just snapped off pretty easy. It was it was stuck. It was uh held down after I bought some other ones. The reason it didn't pop the first time. And you just gather a bunch of them up, the lengths of them. Let's see, I'll throw them right there. And just keep going through and get you some more. And they you don't have to cut. 
You don't need a saw. You just snap them off. These trees that, you know, look out through the woods, you get in a situation where you need something burned. This is what you want to look for. Trees that's been down for a while. And this tree tops, you know, gets very tiny up top. See how tiny these are. And these, they break off really easy and they burn very easy. And it's wet on the outside. It's dry on the inside and it'll burn. But I just thought I'd add that. The best teacher in life is practice. And you just gotta, we got an opportunity here at Camp Hotland to, I've, I've been an outdoorsman all my life, but until you do this stuff day in and day out and be in the situation where you got what you got and make, make do with it, you, you'll learn a way. And it's just stuff like that will save your life for sure. Because before, you know, I was pulling up stuff off the ground, stuff that maybe I'd find on the ground like that right there, and it wouldn't burn, and I didn't understand why because it was dry but it wasn't really dry. This is what you wanna look for, stuff like this. It'll burn up very fast and make very good kindling, and it's everywhere. Just look for trees that's been down for a while, but I thought I'd just add that to uh, the video about what we've been doing here lately. That's how well that fire's burning. I mean, it's, it's, it's not stopped raining. Look at the rain coming down. I'm catching some rain in buckets and it's not stopped that's the wood you just saw me break up down there and put it on the fire now look look at the, how well it's burning and if you remember that last video not the last video but when I did the video on how hard it is in wet conditions to make a fire completely different it just <laughs> by practice by getting out here in, in the woods and living out here and you learn you learn things but that's amazing it's just uh i mean i've built i've made campfires all my life but you just you just don't think because you're bringing your own camp wood that's been split that's been dried and when you build and most people can't even make a fire with that that's what's sad there's different levels of understanding of how to make a fire and uh, some people can't even make fire with dried out split wood let alone breaking off uh, limbs in the woods and picking up limbs that that will actually burn <clears throat> but uh, you can see right here and, and all these limbs right here didn't require a saw whatsoever I broke every one of them off by hand in my knee and it wasn't that much stress and even some like the size of that one there, if you're a, you got to be a very, fairly strong individual for ones that size. You can uh, stand them up and, and kick them with your leg and break them. But most of these was about half that size, so I could just I could just break them off with my knee. And that's dry, so there's there's a lot easier to break it than what you'd think. But that's amazing. It may save your life one day.